YouTube, TTC, Dirty Birds out there, Dirty Bird Nation, Rise Up Nation, AR-10 once again, coming with the video. Okay, it is game day, 2018 divisional round, uh, Eagles versus the Dirty Birds. Been a lot of talk, man. A lot of people been making videos. A lot of people been running their mouths. Um, Eagles feel disrespected. We don't care. Dirty Birds play better on the road this year than at home. Uh, if you look at the stats, we've actually had better games on the road this year for some reason. I don't know if it's the lights in the new stadium. Maybe it's the turf. Don't know, but um, Dirty Birds... For some reason, we play better on the road than at home. Maybe it's the pressure. I don't know. Maybe we uh, we come together more on the road, and we don't feel as much pressure on the road, so we play better. But um, I don't know, man. I don't I don't know how this game is gonna go. Um, like I said in a few videos before, man. Dirty birds, man. All year, man. We've been box of chocolates. You know, you you don't know what you're gonna get with this. Um, the temperature in Philly, I think, is in the 30s, but it's clear. Um, I think they might get some rain later this afternoon. Who knows? Um, I I got to be honest, man. I, I'm expecting a letdown, man. Straight up, man. I mean, we had, a, we had a good game to get into the playoffs. We had a good game against the Rams, but I don't really know if we can do it three games in a row. I mean, I'm confident we'll win. But I feel like we'll win ugly. We'll win out, win in walk-off facts fashion, like against the Bears. You know what I'm saying? It'll be an ugly game where we don't play up to our potential, but we'll win in an ugly fashion. You know, uh, Matty B will probably get a a, a late game field goal, or uh, Philly will make a stupid mistake to lose the game. I feel like we'll win, but I don't I don't feel like we'll be like in a high flying. You know what I mean? Uh, blowout win. Uh, it's going to be close. It's going to be competitive. But I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm expecting a letdown, man. <laughs> I mean, I've been a fan for too long to not expect a letdown. You know what I'm saying? I, I do expect a letdown. Um, a lot of people, you know, jumping in the comments. Um, you know, a lot of uh, NFC East fans jumping in the comments. Uh <laughs> Uh, praying for uh, for Philly's downfall, man. I mean, at 13 and three, you know they rested their starters their last game. There's really no excuses. You rested your starters against the Cowboys, which is just last game, your last game, and you had a week off, so you really had two weeks off, really two and a half weeks. So I don't want to hear any excuses. <laughs> I really don't. We don't have we don't have time for no excuses. I mean. If you come out and lay an egg, then you just came out and laid an egg. Just admit it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, yeah, just finished up working. Uh, about to head home and get ready for this game. Um, I, I am expecting a letdown, though. I expect them to come out come out firing and, and uh, get up on us early. And then we'll hang around, hang around, and then they'll make mistakes to lose a game. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm expecting, man. I'm expecting them to uh, to come out and throw it instead of running it because it's a home game and they want to show they want to show that foes can do it. You know what I'm saying? So I think they'll pass. I think they'll pass to open up the run. Um, I know they're gonna throw like little screens and um, have delayed handoffs to Jai. We'll see what he does, man. Um, goal line work probably will go to uh, Legarrette Blunt. You know. Um, Aguilar, I don't know how he's going to do. You know what I'm saying? Alshon Jeffrey, I don't I don't know how he's going to do either. I mean, you really don't know, you know, until you get out there and see what Foles does. Um, Marquand Manuel and Coach Quinn, the D coordinator and Coach Quinn, um, I'm, I'm hoping they blitz. I'm hoping they blitz. I'm hoping they put pressure on Foles and, and get quarterback hits on Foles. We didn't really blitz a lot on golf which is what you know I think kind of hurt us we didn't we didn't make him uncomfortable I mean we sacked him maybe like one or two times but I don't think we made him uncomfortable you know I feel like we could we should blitz more against golf play more man to man on the outside you know what I'm saying and, and be more aggressive I think we uh when we got that 13-0 lead 
against the Rams. I think we just played. We ran the ball and we played not to lose. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we ran the ball with like 36, 37 times last game. So uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going to be the game plan. I mean, it's, it's the Dirty Birds, man. We're ten to six. Um, we've made it this far, but I don't, I don't know how we're going to act today. I really don't. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much my uh, my pregame hype, my pregame synopsis for the Dirty Birds. Um, I am expecting a letdown, but I just don't know how far <laughs> the letdown is going to be. Uh, Y'all take it easy, man. Uh, AR10 signing out. Be good. Uh, I'll catch up with y'all after the game. Um, all y'all trolls out there talking trash. Um, I'm going to roast y'all ass in the comments if the Falcons win. I just want to let you know. <laughs> Later.